Now, most of y'all might be a little familiar with the book 48 Laws of Power, written by Robert Greene. It's a list of the 48 laws to follow while you're on the road to the top, whether you're a 9 to 5 entrepreneur, or criminal. Eric Bonzi and Martin survived the game for over four decades by following these six important laws. Now, let's talk about it. Now, the first rule was law number one, never outshine a master. Now, we all heard it from somewhere. Now, since a youngin, he shut up and listened to the OGs around him. He waited his turn and played the cut. He never made anyone above him felt like he was a threat. On your way to the top, the last thing you want to do is spook your superiors. Remember, everyone wants to be the man. If whoever pitting you on feel intimidated just a little, they can limit your supply. Little to keep you down, just enough to keep you coming back for more. You want to keep your superiors comfortable enough until you get that promotion. Law number two, never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. Let me repeat it. Never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. That's what he did with the Southside Crips. Business was business. He didn't get that close to them. And for that very reason is why Keefe D couldn't get him to talk on Wiretap. He was trying to get him to talk about the Tupac hit in Vegas, but Zip didn't have to be a genius to see something was off about Keefe D randomly in New York. And Keefe D randomly asked him about the Tupac situation. He asked him about some work and Zip told him he was out the game. Smart move. And part of that situation plays into law number four. Always say less than necessary. Loose lips sink ships. Always know when to talk and when not to. Never speak on your next move. Now us younger guys, really have a problem with that. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but anyway, another law that he played was law number seven. Get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. Now, Diddy allegedly had a million dollars for the Southside Crips. Whether it was for the Tupac hit or just protection period, Keefy D and the Southside Crips put in all the work, and Keefy D might even take the fall. Zip got the million dollar check though. <laughs> Get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. Now, law number 18, do not build fortresses to protect yourself. Isolation is dangerous. He had the money on the East Coast and West Coast. So, he had a crib on each coast. He kept his ears to the streets. Isolation could be dangerous, just like I said. Part of the reason for his longevity was knowing what's going on in the streets not cutting himself from valuable information, knowing who is who, what is what. Law number 25, recreate yourself. Of course, to stay on the throne, you have to make adjustments. Just like Kobe developing that post game and learning a bank shot from Tim Duncan. Zip couldn't be the same Zip for 40 years, especially in the streets. He had to change the product he sold. He dealt with different type of customers. He had to change location. Your run will definitely stop when you become predictable, being the same old you, not growing. Now, with using just those six laws, he was able to outlast many of the top hustlers on the streets. He avoided jail time like the plague. Many hustlers don't have the discipline and patience, but they want the results. They don't want the plain Jane. They want the bus down. They don't want to kick it with Stevie Wonder. They want to be in the club with Bobby Brown. <laughs> You will see him as just a normal guy walking his dog, not knowing he's the guy that you're working for. But that's it for tonight. Hit the comments, hit the like button, turn on the notifications so y'all don't miss out. And don't forget to approach every situation with strategy, no matter what it is. Keep a playbook. I'm out.